All aboard the demon train. Oh my god. What is up everyone? Shout out to the early squad. Today we're on Anime Games channel where we can react to his Choo Choo Charles sad origin story. Now it might be lore or not. Don't get triggered if it's not uh, lore. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Keep away from me. I have a weapon oh. and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, I don't think that will do you much good now. Oh, well, this is kind back. of creepy. You, you, you disgusting train. Now, that's not a he very a... nice way to talk to your host. I have a name, after all. But you can hear his bone you shaking. You can call me Charles. Ch Charles? Didn't they tell you my name before they sent oh, you heck out no, bro. here to kill Get me? Get the bug spray. No. Well, that's disappointing. You see, I wasn't always like this. So strong and powerful. In fact, I was once like you. Oh, are you gonna let him touch you like that, bro? Being a small, scared human being, exactly the way you are now. Would you like to hear the story of how I became this way? I would love to, Charles. Tell us. That's right. Maybe by the end, you'll understand why I became like this. And if you do, maybe. I'll even let you live. What do you say? I feel like he's capping. Okay. It all began. Right, we're going to see if this is low or not. Just one year ago. Young Master Charles, you know your father doesn't like you playing in there. My name so is Charles, bro. Charles the Fourth, first and only son of my father and owner of this island, Warren Charles the Third. But everyone on the island called me. Master Charles. My father was a rich man and had purchased a mine on this island, but it hadn't been as successful as he once hoped. And so we moved here so that he could oversee it personally. There weren't any other children on the island, so I had no one to play with, except for my teacher and babysitter, Eugene. Eugene was no Eugene? fun. So I spent most of my time trying to get away from him and play on my own. Today I was playing in the mines. I loved it there. It was like a maze full of creepy tunnels that turned this way and that. I could hide from Eugene for hours there. I heard his voice echoing behind me in the tunnels. So I decided to hide and give him a scare. I ducked behind some barrels, but I must have pumped something, because soon the tunnel started to rumble and shake. Pebbles and dust started to fall from the ceiling, and then, with a crash, the whole roof of the tunnel came down. Everything went dark. I thought I was dead. Eugene emerged from the tunnel, carrying my broken body. My father and his personal doctor arrived not long after. My father was crying. Okay, so most of this is false. That his son was dead. <laughs> but the doctor wasn't so sure. I have something. A new experimental procedure that may be able to save the boy. Do it. Anything for my son. I'll spare no expense. The doctor took me back to his cabin, which acted as the island's medical clinic too. There, the doctor revealed a special machine. Oh, he's he dead, dead in there. Experimenting with. This machine is going to revolutionize medicine. Will it save my son? What does it do? You see, we'll place your son here and this automaton over here. You mean a dummy? Well, yes, but it won't be dumb for very long. What do you mean? Your son's body is destroyed. He'll die if he stays in it. But I can transfer his consciousness to this. It will save his life. My father was unsure. Like but Thomas he the was Train. So worried that he gave the doctor his. Oh, approval. he was a boy, then became wait, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Is it safe? I think so. I've been testing it extensively on rats. The doctor threw the switch. You just called this on a rat. Of swapping my consciousness into its new body began. I was woken up by the worst pain I had ever experienced. As I felt my mind pulled from my body, transferred across the wires, 
and forced into this android. For a moment, I couldn't feel anything. But then, as I settled into my new form, I felt my face start to stretch. I was overcome with emotion, and that must have been reflected on the face of my new body. That thing does not look right. Because face started to twist and change too. It oh! turned into a terrible, wide grin. That when I not sat up from anymore, the table man. and saw my old body lying next to me, I wanted to cry. But my hard, unmoving, always smiling face wouldn't shed a tear. I tried my best to adjust At least he's to happy what I all the time now. I was used to being on my own on the island. There were no other children after all. But I wasn't prepared for the reaction I would get from the grown workers. The nice ones would simply try their best not to look directly at me. Others would try to avoid my presence. But the worst were the ones who would stare. They would look at me with a mix of pity and disgust. But there was something more, I mean... too. Deep down, I knew they weren't just revolted by me. They were afraid of me. I was playing on my own one day. When I heard the sound of one of the island's workers behind me, I turned to find the usual sight of him staring at me. He tried to apologize, saying that he hadn't meant to disturb me. But even as he backed away from me, he wouldn't take his eyes off of me. Wouldn't stop looking at my face. As I walked towards him, he kept backing up, dropping his mining pick He's on had the enough. ground. Please, Master Charles, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm sorry. But his words rang hollow to me. He had come out here to look at the disgusting monster, to mock me. So I did the only logical thing. And no, picked he's up gone the crazy. Pick he had dropped and struck him with it. You see, Yo, what is my savage. artificial body was quite strong, stronger than it had ever been as a boy. And the blow from the pick was strong enough to break the arm that he had tried to defend himself with. The other workers were told that he had been in an accident, but word soon spread, and they knew the truth. I'm not sure if they meant it as a joke, or if some really believed that it would keep them safe. But some of the workers soon started wearing masks. Masks that looked exactly like me. I suppose they figured if they looked as terrible as I did, that I wouldn't want to harm them. Or maybe they just wanted to make fun of me. Either way, I didn't care. It did make me happy seeing them look exactly like me. So happy, in fact, that I wanted everyone on the island to do the same. There were still some holdouts, though. They'd need to become even more afraid of my wrath if I was going to convince them. I was watching from a hill nearby when my father unveiled his newest piece of machinery for the island mine. It was a train. Oh. But a special one. Instead of wheels, it Wait, why had you long got spider legs already? Legs, like a spider that allowed it to go anywhere. What? Over any type of terrain. Everyone watching was very impressed by the new invention. That is false. But all I could see was the train's inventor. He was a young engineer, one of the youngest men on the whole island. Handsome, strong, and smart. Everyone seemed to love this man, to want to be around him. I hated him. And yet, I also wanted to be around him. No, that's not right. I wanted to be him. If I could somehow look like him, then no one would be afraid of me anymore. I'd have lots of friends. I'd be happy once again. I started to think, how could I not just look like this man, but become him? The doctor who had saved He's my even life more insane now. was more than happy to tell me all about his machine. 
He told me about the experiments he had done with Little animals freak. prior to using it on me. But what about the opposite? Could my mind be placed back into a human body? The doctor told me that it hadn't been tried before. It might be too dangerous. There was a good chance that a body couldn't survive the stress of the reverse process. That sounded like a risk I was willing to take. I waited until one night when the engineer was working late on the new train. He was working in the mine tunnels and he was all alone. Looks like he's peeing on the With train, bro. With my automaton body, I was able to overpower him quite easily and tie him up. After that, I ran to get the doctor. There's been a terrible accident at the mine. The doctor grabbed all of his medical equipment, including the experimental machine, and followed me back to the mine. When we got there, he saw the engineer tied up on the ground. What's going on here? I knocked the doctor out and tied him up as well. Now I had that little kid is evil, bro. I needed. I woke the doctor up and forced him to tell me how to set the machine up. I attached it to the engineer and myself. The doctor kept pleading with me, telling me that it would kill the young man, but I just ignored him. Finally, everything was ready. What's going on? Why isn't it working? You need a power source. I looked around and spotted one, the engine of the special new train. I connected the machine to the power source. Now, everything was really ready. This time when I flicked the switch, the machine came alive. It was just like before when my mind was transferred out of my human body. But this time, I'd be going back. I'd be human once again. I could feel my mind start to be stretched and pulled. I screamed in pain and watched as the engineer grimaced in agony as well. It was beautiful. But then, something went wrong. I heard a noise behind me and saw that the doctor had managed to roll on the ground towards the machine. No! With his foot, he managed to hit a button on the machine that reversed the power flow. My mind snapped back into my metal body. And then, the machine overloaded. There was an explosion of sparks as my mind was then forced through the wires. Not into the engineer's body, but into the train powering the machine. Oh. I could feel myself changing once again as my mind was imprinted oh, it's onto moving. the steel mechanisms within the train. I screamed as I was changed. Bro, this is wicked, man. Changed too. With the screeching of metal twisting and stretching, the front of the train transformed, becoming an even worse mockery of my already ugly face. My plan had failed. Or had it? I stood up on my new mechanical spider-like legs. I felt the strength and power that existed in my locomotive body. I it's alive. But I wasn't sad at all about what happened. I now had exactly what I wanted. Power. Dude, the doctor should have just minded his own business. Fear me. I Look emerged from did. the tunnel, a new entity, one that the world had never seen before. And I'd make sure that those who did see me would never be seen again. Except those few workers who would still wear masks. Of course, masks you have the weirdo that, that prays him. Face. The island was mine now Pretty fast and i kill anyone who dared come here which is why they sent that is you one here. crazy story you can try and kill me but even if you had succeeded it wouldn't have mattered you see i figured out still I million baby eggs. eggs don't ask me how and implant my consciousness into them it must have been I'm some side lay out of like... the machine so even if you had managed to kill me, Them? I'll just keep coming back. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. There's nothing anyone can do. This train will just keep rolling on forever and ever and ever. Choo, 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 mother. <laughs> wow. Okay. So 
as we see, this is not tied to the original story, which basically leads to Charles just being an ancient giant spider, and he's down stuck in the caves, and there's a train that's just abandoned there. He crawls in it, and then he, like, forms into Choo Choo Charles, which he, he becomes a spider train, something like that. Something along those lines are a part of the origin. As we've seen, this was just a fan made, which was pretty sick. Shout out to uh, Anime Games for his cool story. That was a cool take. Pretty insane. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys want another Choo Choo Charles origin story video, let me know down below because there's still plenty more videos about these origin stories on Choo Choo Charles, and I would gladly check them out. They're pretty cool. And yeah, if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and the bell and click on all notifications so you can be notified when I upload a video like this or even crazier ones. And yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Huh?